celebrity status. How do you handle it? I mean, you're still in school and all that. Well, wh what I can personally say is I don't think there's a difference between kids and adults. Mm -hmm. I think we all have the same ability and we can all be able to do the same thing. So I don't have a problem. If people are having high problems, uh, regardless of their age, that's, that's their problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like you can be able to do anything regardless of how old you are mm -hmm. or where you come from. Mm -hmm. We're all equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What does this day mean? You know, ch uh, World uh, Children's what Day. What yeah, what does um, it mean to you? To me, it, it means celebrating children, basically. Because, like, as you said before, that they used to say that children is just to be seen and not to be heard. Mm -hmm. But um, this actually gives us an opportunity to be able to open ourselves in front of people and let them see that we are also important. Because we all, all the time, growing up are here saying that children are the future, are uh, the our leaders of the tomorrow. The future never and comes. Exactly. And they, and they like leave us there and they don't do anything. So we're supposed to like make a stand and make ourselves be seen from when we're kids to when we're older. So this is actually a fantastic day to be able to make all of us be seen mm -hmm. as people who are there to make the society better. So mm -hmm. what are you doing to celebrate the World Children's Day, apart from appearing on Citizen TV? <laughs> well, obviously, my day-to-day -day life is always about the world's children. Yeah. So um, it's never always about the day. It's always about every single day of my life. I wake up in the morning knowing that I'm here to change at least somebody's life, at least a child's life, because mm -hmm. everybody who's out there listens. And the way they take things from the public and the way they take things from other people is how they use it in the society. Mm -hmm. And by me waking up in the morning and even coming here today and for letting other children listen to me, I'm able to be relieved that they are able to get inspired and change their lives and be good people in society. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I'm just looking at, uh, you know, uh, what's happening in the country. Laws are being uh, formulated. Mm -hmm. What is happening in the media. It's absolutely appalling. We have... Uh, you know, immorality, pornography, and all that. And mm. you're just a child growing up, and, and all these things, it's like a budget, a, yeah. a, a baggage. How mm. do you handle that, and how can children make a difference? Well, it's basically about self-control. Children are able to see what's right and what's wrong. With really? the help of their parents, exactly. With the help of their parents. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can give you a personal experience. Like, I'm for my mom. My mom always helps me and tells me these are the things you should be doing, and this is what you should not be doing, and also from school. Well, like my teachers will be telling me that, Ian, you know where you are and what you're doing. Definitely there's some things that you set an example for to the rest of the people. So I as an individual know that there's some boundaries that have been set for. There's some things that I should not do. And that should not even be a problem at all because I can be able to start myself and I can be able to watch mm -hmm. over myself. So mm -hmm. that should not be a worry. Mm -hmm. How has the internet improved or worsened uh, your lifestyle in, in, in yeah. this, in, as a child of today? When I was uh, growing up, there was no, <laughs> there was no. Like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's stuff like social media, definitely, mm -hmm. where um, we're able to converse with people from different areas, like with mm -hmm. the Facebook groups that we have and all that. Um, that's like my general purpose. That's what I use the social media. For. What, that's what I use the internet for. And for finding out information about different things. Like I came to know about the World's Children's Day from the internet. Mm -hmm. So this is how I get to generate wow. all these ideas and all this information. I also do my research, academic research from the internet. So yeah, there's a lot of positives and as well negatives, but we always focus on the good side, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. very well. But, but th th there's a concern, you know, perhaps you, you are blessed in, in, in such a way, you have an opportunity, uh, you have parents who are there to hold uh, you, take you to the next level. There are children out there, perhaps thousands, who don't have people to hold them, to nurture them. What would you do in your capacity to at least salvage their future? Well, um, what are you doing currently? Well, I, I, I try my best, like anybody that I see, any child that I see, who would come and talk to me and tell me, oh, this is what's going through in my life. I'll try my best to inspire them and tell them that, you know, not all the time um, you're supposed to be needing your parents to assist you. Mm -hmm. There are times that you can sit down and think and make the world better. Like there's a child I remember who did this thing about um, the lion lights um, to um, leave, not allow lions to enter through the um, their homes and he did that by himself he like thought about it and he actually worked on it and look what happened he got fantastic things happened to him he went to america and was able to display to uh, his idea to the rest of the world yeah and he got sc academic scholarships and all that all from his own idea without the help of his parents so all these things is also individualism I if a person can decide that i want to take a stand and do something by myself they don't really need um a parent to assist them. They can do everything by themselves because not all parents are good and not all parents are bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all about people by themselves. All right. So how are you hogging uh, your celebrity status? 
well, I try my best to make it as positive as possible mm -hmm. by doing like good things and uh -huh. trying to um, talk to people and inspiring them, not only the young ones, but the old ones. Yeah. And yeah, that's how basically I, I work with myself. Cause Does it interfere with your school? No, no, no. Because no. it's just like me not going outside to play with my friends and going back into the house and trying to make something better for mm. myself. Mm. Yeah, so it doesn't actually, what? it's proper planning. Okay, so perhaps finally, as we, as we wind up, when you sit down and look, you look at what is happening in the country, what adults are doing, what do you think, if you had an opportunity to give advice, what would you say? Well, if I'm to give advice to mm. people, um, to the grown-ups mm. actually, is that every, every time they do anything, they should know that somebody's looking. They should, not they should not close their eyes and see that um, we are not paying attention. Because I can give an example. Like, I know about the bill that's happening, mm -hmm. the bill with the, the splitting of the money 50-50, yeah. and I have my own opinion property about property. it. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, property. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, the property. Mm -hmm. And I have my own opinion about mm -hmm. it. So we are not sitting down as children and not paying attention to what goes on between with, with all of us, yeah? So we also see and we also hear. Mm -hmm. So my advice to all the public mm -hmm. is that all the grown-ups, rather, we are all seeing and we all know. And we all have yeah. our opinions about it. <laughs> they are watching. <laughs> We're watching. Yeah. They are watching. Many thanks indeed. Thank you so much for your, your, your comments, your questions. We totally appreciate it. And thank you so much for being part of the Power Breakfast Show. My name is Johnson Mokazi. And I'm Tony Joe. And of course, Ian <laughs> Minene. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so let's meet next week as God wills. All the best. Absolutely.